In the event of an emergency, there is a specific procedure to activate the motorcycle's electrical system. This procedure requires inputting an ID code. First, you must open the left and right saddlebags, then press the starter button for more than four seconds. The buzzer will sound and the system will enter the ID number input mode. Make sure you have the ID number on your motorcycle's ID tag so you can input it for the next steps. To input the ID number, you will need to use the fairing pocket opener button and the starter button on the handlebar. Input the ID number on the ID tag starting with the digit on the left. For example, to input 1, press the fairing pocket opener once, then press the starter button to input the next digit. To input 0, press the starter button without pressing the fairing pocket opener, then you can input the next digit. Follow this procedure for each digit in the ID number. Each time you press the starter button, the buzzer will sound to indicate the system is ready for you to input the next digit. Repeat this process until you have input all of the digits. If for any reason you don't press a button for about 20 seconds, the procedure will be cancelled. Once you input the last digit of the ID number and press the starter button, the ID number will be authenticated. The steering will be unlocked and the electrical system will be activated. At this point, you can start the engine. You can also use the ignition switch at this time. Note that this motorcycle also has an emergency key, a built-in key and a key tag with a key number and a barcode. If you lose all keys and the key tag, the smart ECU and the ESL units must be replaced by your dealer. To avoid this, store the emergency key and key tag in a safe location.